Iya, pas. Biar cepet nyampe ke stasiun. Suarga untuk ke sana. Iya, motor kan sudah sana. Ini kan tarinya pesannya nanti kan mundur nih. Jadi naik naik motornya mundur. Mundur untuk maju. Kayak politik aja nih. I'm Nathan Casalino for Grolsch Filmworks, and we are here with Leonard Rettel Helmrich, director of Position Among the Stars, which is now screening at the San Francisco International Film Festival. Leonard, where do you currently live and work? Uh, I live and work actually between two countries, Indonesia and the Netherlands, because my subject is in Indonesia, that's where I film, mm -hmm. and the Netherlands is where the production office is and where I do the post-production also. How do you feel independent cinema differs in the Netherlands from other countries you've worked in? Yeah, well, the thing, independent cinema in the Netherlands is different than the, the term, than, uh, than maybe in the US. I don't know if I'm independent, because I depend very much of money, like mm -hmm. everybody does, of course. As long as you have your, you can choose your own format, your own style, then you could say it's independent film. And I think everybody, should try to find his own style and make films from their own point of view. Stories seem easier to tell when the story is part of the life that you're living. How did you feel you became a part of the situation and reality there while you were shooting Position Among the Stars? Well, of course, I had to to, to yeah, put a lot of um, effort in it in order to become part of their life. I know that sometimes when you're part of a scene of a, of a world, you can have influence of it, but I don't want to show my presence in the film itself as long as it hasn't des doesn't have a real dramatical meaning. In the end, there's a scene with the two old women talking uh, about money, and one tells the other, possessions take possession of you. How long are ideas like that influential on you and your personal life? I found it so... W it was warming my heart, actually, that people could live, and could live without this money system. You only need a bowl of rice a day and then she was could be happy. I really was actually almost jealous of her. You know, we, we the, the, the money is controlling us. It's uh, actually terrible. I wanted to show that, of course. Uh, and, and that's why I like it that it's towards the end of the film. How did you get into independent film um, in the beginning? And currently, today, do you think it's hard to break into in the Netherlands? Um, uh, sometimes the, uh, uh, different than our people sometimes think they think oh when you have a success it's more easy to get another f another you get the funding for your next film but it, the opposite is true because still you have to really have to have a good story and you have to fight for every penny and things are changing also in the Netherlands at the moment the new government doesn't want to fund uh, artistic fundings uh, everything in, in art they want to cut it down so it will become more hard in, in the future. What tips do you have for aspiring Dutch directors and filmmakers? Try to, f to follow your intuition. Try to trust your intuition. Don't think about the technique, just shoot.